Hello, Fairfax County Public Schools. This is Dr. Brabrand. Another day in schools, and we're with Keisha J Jackson Muir at Braddock Elementary Yay! and her team. Yay! Keisha, you were our principal of the year last year. So much going on. Today, we're looking at coding, coding in Spanish as well. Tell us, what's the secret of success here at Braddock Elementary? You know, the secret of success here is teaching with love and passion and purpose. And we care a lot about our students and it's important for us to build those experiences where they're career ready and where they're college ready and where they're workforce ready. In order for us to do this, we have to teach at a high level for the academic curriculum. And we also have to provide those real world experiences for them to have. And coding robotics is just one way of providing that expertise. De Puerto Rico. Soy puertorriqueña. Lo siento por todo de su país ha sufrido mucho. I'm happy here. No, qué bien, qué bien, qué bien, qué oportunidad. This is my new home, and these are my new kids, wow. and I want the best for them. Wow. So tell me what we're doing in here. Give me an idea of well, what we're doing. Well, there's a little bit of everything. Here. Okay. Not only un poco de todo, right? Un poquito de todo. Un poquito. Un poquito. Okay. They're not only learning to get acquainted with those skills for the 21st century, and what we're basically this is what it's going to be their life, but helping them with their language. Mm -hmm. Show me that. Well, sure. Oh, can't touch this by MC Hammer, huh? <laughs> oh, and then based on what you programmed, they move? Oh, that's really cool. You designed this whole thing? Right, so this game seems easy. I just take my hands and do this? No, Is that how it works? With the robot? With the robot? Well, how do we do that? So we have the controller and this, and there's a robot that I built. This is called. You Stretch. built this? Yes, I built this. You didn't build this. Tell them how long you've been in robotics, since what grade? Since third grade. How did you build this? First explain to me, how, how did you build this? Well, for, um, first I was at home. It took me a day to build it. It took you one day to build this? Yeah, only one day. It was simple for me. Because <laughs> in third grade, I built the claw box. Oh, so you had practice had building practice, yeah. something simpler. Well, it's amazing. You know, here you're a two-way Spanish immersion. You have local level four, and you really put an equity lens on getting more and more kids referred in and experiencing that high level of rigor. Um, we're really proud of you, thank and you just thank you for all you're doing. Yeah. Board members, anything you would like to share? We'll start with you, Megan, and then both the at-large members about Braddock Elementary. Well, I'm, I'm especially proud because this is part of my Braddock District Schools, and it's remarkable because you're just such an example of what we can achieve for all students. And having the Young Scholars Program is another key piece mm -hmm. of you all helping us with closing opportunity gaps and really allowing students to have full access to the amazing programs that make Fairfax County Schools such a special place for kids to be educated. Mm -hmm. So I'm just so proud of your team mm -hmm. and I know it's because you're teaching with love and that's what matters the most. Miss mm -hmm. Keys Gamara, Mr. Moon. Well, it's an honor to be here, first of all, to see really some of my dreams in action. I, I am very concerned about children having access and, and, the, and the key elements so that they can access our careers and choose where they want to go, the tide that raises all boats, and you're doing it here. So I just mm -hmm. applaud you, and I look forward to working with our staff and Dr. Braybrand to make sure that we can replicate this kind of thing in every school in Fairfax County. Mr. Moon? You see, I remember the principal from the very first day she came to Braddock Elementary yes. School. She's been, she's been inspiring for all these years. I'm just amazing to see a coding and robotics mm -hmm. in elementary mm -hmm. school. When people talk about coding and robotics, it's high school and college mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this afternoon, I'm excited to go into a couple <laughs> of classrooms to learn about those. How are your coding skills, Mr. Moon? Oh, uh, I would say uh, from <laughs> one to ten, probably point five. Well, <laughs> don't worry, our kids will teach. We're, 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 we're going to enhance our portrait of graduate skills today, starting with the school board, superintendent, yes. and school leadership. Yes. And again, just really a final thank you. You are leading the way here at Braddock Elementary, and Appreciate we couldn't it. be proud. So, well done. Yeah.